I'm going to complete explaining ecology. The topics that are covered in the first part are the properties of populations and the population growth. Also, I have explained the community structure and population interactions. Today in this part, I'm going to explain the food chain, the ecological succession, and the The food chain. What's it mean by the food chain? It is the pathway along which energy is transferred from one trophic or feeding level to another, as you see in the figure. So don't forget that energy in the form of food moves from the producers to the herbivores to the carnivores. Just put it well in your consideration that only 10% of the energy stored in the trophic level is converted into organic matter at the next trophic level. For example, if you begin with 1,000 gram of plant, the food chain can support 100 gram of the primary consumers. So 10 grams of the secondary consumers and one gram of the tertiary consumers. As a result of the loss of energy from one traffic level to the next, food chains have never four or five traffic levels. What are the producers? Generally, they change light energy of the sun into chemical bond energy and have the greatest biomass of any traffic level. For example, the green plants and their photosynthetic and photosynthetic algae that drift in the oceans. The second example is phytoplankton as algae and photosynthetic bacteria that drift passively in aquatic environments. Generate diatoms and phytoplankton are the basis for most marine and freshwater aquatic ecosystems. Primary consumers generate the eat producers. They are herbivores like the grasshoppers and the plankton. Secondary consumers, the eat consumers, they are carnivores like the frogs and small fish. Tertiary ones, the eat secondary consumers, they are carnivores. They are at the top of the food chain. Fewer of these less by mass than any organism in the food chain. They are least stable trophic level and most sensitive to fluctuations in the population of the trophic levels, like the hawk or larger fish. What's means by productivity? Productivity the rate at which organic matter is created by producers like the grass primary productivity, what, what is, what's it mean by it? It's the amount of energy converted into chemical energy by photosynthesis during a time in an ecosystem. So what about the cross primary? Sorry, the net primary productivity. I think the gross primary productivity minus the energy used by the primary producers for respiration. So it's called the net primary productivity. So as you see here in the figure, for example, the gross primary productivity is 300 joules the energy, the cell energy of, uh, or the cell respiration or lost, uh, uh, the energy used in cell respiration is 100 joules. So the net primary productivity, I'll subtract them, will be 200 joules. Biological magnification. Organisms occupying higher trophic levels have greater concentrations of accumulated toxins stored in their bodies than those at lower traffic levels. For example, the bald eagle almost became extinct because Americans spray their crops 
heavily with DDT in the 1950. DDT entered the bottom of the food chain and accumulated in the bald eagle at the top of the food chain because the DDT interferes with the utilization of calcium in eggshells. The thin shelled eggs were broken easily and few eagles hatched. Generally, DDT is now out, outlawed and the bald eagle was saved from extinction. Decomposers are usually not depicted in any diagram of the food chain. However, without decomposers to recycle nutrients back to the soil to nourish plants, there wouldn't be food chain and new life, like the bacteria and fungi. Ecological succession. It is the sequential rebuilding of the ecosystem that follows the destruction, either natural or human meat. The primary ecological succession. If the rebuilding begins in a lifeless area where even soil has been removed, while the pioneer organisms, the first organisms to inhabit a barren area after ecosystem is destroyed, like the lichens and mosses. Climax community. It is the final stable community that remains. It remains until the ecosystem is once again destroyed by a blue out, a disaster that destroyed the ecosystem. It's for the primary one. What about the secondary succession? It occurs when an existing community has been cleared by some disturbances that leaves the soil intact, like the fires in the Yellowstone National Park in 1988, which destroyed all the, all the growth that had been dominated by lodgepole pine, but left the soil intact within one year. The burnt area were covered with new vegetation. 